Animals eat to grow and get energy for things like flying, trying to fly, or butter biking. Luckily, butter bikers and butterflies don't eat the same thing. I eat food grown on farms by farmers like my friend Jess. And then I buy the food in grocery stores and store my food in a kitchen, which is an orange bucket. It's kind of like a refrigerator, but it only keeps the food cold when it's cold out. Get it? My kitchen has everything for cold and warm meals. When it's cold outside, I might preheat my recycled Coke can stove to make a warm meal. While my rice cooks, I cut up my veggies. Instead of a cutting board, I cut my carrots like I'm sharpening a pencil, I cut zucchini like a pro, and I cut everything else on my lid. I grate cheese without a cheese grater, and I open up a can of beans like it's a competitive sport. I use a tortilla like a plate, since I don't like doing dishes. Now, hot food is great, but I don't cook on my stove every day. Instead, I eat easy to prepare snacks like bananas and peanut butter, apples and cheese, pretzels and hummus, loads of fruit, and lots and lots and lots of sandwiches, literally overflowing with healthy, colorful, and sometimes creative ingredients, which I stop and eat whenever I'm hungry. Eggs tossed into any meal make it fancier as long as they're hard-boiled first. And I never turn down ice cream or anything chocolatey, except chocolate-covered milkweed. I save the poisonous milkweed for the monarch caterpillars. Not only can monarchs eat milkweed, but they become poisonous as they eat it. And in fact, they can only eat milkweed. Did you get that? What's the only food source of the monarch caterpillar? Milkweed! 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 Monarch caterpillars are milkweed eating machines. From a first instar to a fifth instar, they can grow 2,000 times bigger in 10 days. That would be like if in 10 days, I went from 150 pounds to 300,000 pounds, I think I would need a bigger bike. Once monarchs metamorphose into adults, they no longer eat the leaves of the milkweed, but instead they eat the nectar produced by each flower. As adults, they no longer depend entirely on milkweed and can feed on all sorts of flowers, especially native flowers. Okay, here's the problem. The monarch's range used to be full of milkweed and nectar plants, but much of their habitat has been destroyed and replaced. That means instead of finding food, they often can only find pavement and grass. But look, monarchs can live with us. At schools, in the countryside, next to farms, and in neighborhoods, there is space to grow gardens to feed the monarchs and other pollinators. It makes me so happy to visit people sharing the planet with monarchs, I love finding humans and critters living together. In front yards, backyards, school gardens, roadsides, in every neighborhood. So much life can live if we give it space to eat and grow. So now that you know what monarchs eat, where will you plant your garden? The monarchs will be so happy to stop by and visit and have a meal. And I, the butter biker, will love stopping by to visit your garden and have a meal too. Just remember, monarch caterpillars eat milkweed, and I prefer frozen milk, which you probably call ice cream.